and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my April favorites video and I haven't been loving like a ton of stuff but I do have a good amount of favorites and everything and it's kind of like spread out this time. Like it's not all beauty or skincare. I do have like TV shows and like you know random like random things. So yeah let's just get right into it because I don't want this intro to be long but yeah I can't believe it's May 1st. Like summer is actually around that corner. Like that's crazy to me. So the first thing I've been loving is an essential oil. This is the Rada Beauty Rada Rose Hip Oil. This is 100% pure and natural rose hip oil. It's certified organic and this is 100% pure rose hip oil. And this is supposed to be like a cold pressed oil. And this is actually bottled in the USA. So I'm assuming it's made in the USA. And yeah, so this is rose hip oil, which is great for acne and acne scars. It's supposed to help get rid of it and also like lighten your scars and get rid of them. And I really like this and it is like an orange -ish tint oil, which I don't know if you can see that, but it is orange -ish. You just take a little bit in the dropper and you drop it onto your face and everything and rub it in and it's supposed to help diminish scars. And it usually takes like two to I think six months to get rid of acne scars or at least lighten them a good bit. But I have been using this for a month and I've been seeing pretty good progress with, with this. And what I love about it is it's moisturizing. It's not as drying as tea tree oil. I love this because it's supposed to like get rid of acne, but it's also supposed to help scars. And I've seen pretty good progress so far. I've only been using it for maybe a month at the most. And I just really love this. It's very moisturizing and I, you can also put this on your lips to moisturize them. So it's like a dual purpose product. I just really love it and I've loved what it's been doing for my skin. My skin just looks like a slight bit clearer and it just looks smoother which I love. And now I have a more random favorite and this is the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray by This Works. Basically what this is is the pillow spray. It has chamomile and lavender in it and you just spray one to two sprays onto your pillow and it's supposed to help you sleep. You kind of like smell it and then it kind of just like relaxes you so your brain isn't like running like a marathon or whatever and it just is a very nice like pillow spray. It smells really good but like honestly when I run out of this I'm not going to repurchase. I'm just going to make my DIY version of this because it's just like essential oils. It's 100% pure I'm pretty sure so I'll just make my like own blend of this and everything like that. Then I have a hair product I've been loving. This is from Brioche this is the Briogeo Rizarco Mel. And this is a reparative leave-in treatment with no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. And this is supposed to heat protect and restore shine, combat dryness, and strengthen from root to tip. This is great because I feel like with this I don't get split ends and everything. And this has coconut oils in it, Rizarco, and vitamin, and rosehip, and argan oil. And I just love this. It's a nice spray. You can spray it after you get out of the shower, which I usually do before I blow dry my hair. That's also good to heat protect like when you're gonna straighten your hair. So you can use this on your dry hair as well and I just love the smell of this. It smells so good and it's really good for your hair and I just love this. It's been really good for my hair. I just feel like my hair looks very healthy. I sprayed this in today because I did shower and I just love this. Then to apply my makeup I've been really loving this sponge and this is the Real Techniques Diamond Sponge. I'm sure you can tell from the shape and I just really like this. It's not wet now but it expands a good amount and it's just a really Really nice sponge and it stays pretty clean it is dirty because I just used it yesterday but I do really like it and it is a nice sponge I love like how you can get into the creases of your like nose and under your eyes with that pointed tip but the flat side is also great for your face and it just has all these sides that are great and I love all the sides like I love how 3d this is like three-dimensional it's just a great sponge it really blends everything out and it gives you like good coverage and I love it it's from the drugstore so it's very affordable and I've been loving affordable sponges way more than my beauty blender. So next I have two lip products. The first one is from Benefit. This is the Benefit Double the Lip. I really like this product. I really love like just the whole thing. So basically what this is, is it's like a double thing. So one half is a lip liner and the other half is the lipstick. And I really love this. I am wearing it today. I really love like the color and everything. It's in the shade Lusty Rose. I really love rose colors and I just think it's super pretty. And I love the colors in it and everything everything like that and it's very moisturizing and I just love this for like day-to-day -day wear like if I'm gonna be running errands and it's just a very nice lip color for every day which I love. I've been more into traditional lipsticks recently just because I like to be able to reapply throughout the day and this one's great. I got it in a birch box and I really love it and I've also been loving a similar product. This is the Tarte Lip Surgeons which is basically a lip crayon lip cream and this is in the color Wishful which I don't know if they still sell this because I tried looking up online one day and I couldn't find it. It might have been exclusive to a 
set. I really like this color. It's almost like a peachy pinky color, but it's more like a pink warm color. And I really like that color. I think it's super pretty and everything. And it's just very moisturizing on our lips. Like the other lip product, it's also great for everyday wear. And this is by Tarte. I don't know if I've said that. And I do really like it. I love the color and it's just super pretty. And I've been trying to use this up because I've had it for years. I do really like it. I like how moisturizing it is. And it's great to like just keep in your purse to just like reapply. Then I've been loving a blush and highlighter from Tarte. I love their Amazonian clay line. Like I think it's amazing. I love their blushes. They are so good. So I've been loving the Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in Risqué. This is what it looks like. It's just a very like nude peachy blush. Like that's how it's described as, but it's more nude than peach I think. But it's super pretty and I really like it and it looks great on my skin tone. I've pretty much been using this one like every day and I like this because it's a very buttery nice formula. And I'm actually not wearing it today which is actually surprising since I have been wearing it every day. I do really like it. It is a peachy nude and it just applies very nicely onto your face and it's just a very nice like blush. I think it's super pretty and very great for like dramatic looks, natural looks. It's great for like everyday wear which is what I love. It's just such a beautiful blush. Like look at that. I've also been loving the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter and Sparkler. This is a very like pretty gold almost like champagne color and what I love about this is not like too sparkly and everything it kind of just gives you that nice glow to your face it's not like sparkly glittery which I don't like in a highlight very like just nice glow nice sheen on your face and it doesn't like cling to texture which is what I love and it's just a very nice highlighter I'm not wearing this on my face either I'm actually wearing a new highlighter kind of thing but I do like this I've been using this within the past month I love both of these I got these both in the all the 21 days of beauty sale earlier this month so next I've been loving another random product and this has to do with makeup and this is the clean sweep make makeup brush pad and so this is supposed to easily remove powder with no dry time so basically what you do is you unscrew this then you have this black cushiony thing I don't even know how to describe that then you swirl your brush up and down and kind of like in a circle get rid of that powder and then look there's no shadow whatsoever so it's completely clean so I could go in with a light color or I could go in with a dark color so I could basically just switch colors without having to like switch brushes which I really love and I actually got this at Marshalls. I do know they sell this something like this at Sephora but I do find this works and I think it's great and it's only meant for powders so don't use like concealer or foundation brushes on this. It's only meant for powders. Really love this and I thought it was gimmicky in the store but I bought it and I was like yes this is so cool. So next thing I've been loving is sunglasses and I've been obsessed with these. These are from Jessica Simpson and yes these are from Jessica Simpson and I really like these and everything. I think they're super cool. They're kind of rose gold which I love rose gold. So pretty. And I really like these and they like block out the sun very well. They're great for the beach. They're great for you know if you're going on a trip or everything or just whenever you're going to be in the sun. I love them. And I got these at Marshalls which is what I tend to do is get like sunglasses from Marshalls or TJ Maxx just because like they're cheaper so if you lose them you're not going to be like upset or if they break you're not going to be upset and stuff like that and I don't like getting like expensive things like that you know what I mean and yeah I really like these I think they're super cute surprisingly has a nose piece but it's comfortable and also like your makeup like on your nose doesn't like smear off of these and everything like that which I feel like that has to do with the primer or makeup you do but I do really like these I think they're super cute and I've been wearing them a lot recently then I have a shirt that I've been loving and I love this this is from Target and then the pocket just says blah blah blah. I think it's super cute and I love Target's clothes because they're very affordable and everything. I like it because it's super cute. It's from their Modern Luxe line and everything and I got this in like, extra large so it's like bigger than I usually get but I like when shirts like are a little bit more baggier and stuff like that. I like more looser fitting clothes and I like the neckline in this because like it comes up pretty high. I hate like things that are super low cut. And yeah, I just think it's super cute. It just says blah, blah, blah. And it's super just like simple. And I actually saw Karen from KK and Baby J wearing this on her vlogs. And I like looked at the comments and she said she got it from Target. And I was like, yes, I need this. And I think it's super cute. And it's one of my favorite shirts. I wear it like a couple times a week. No shame there. I also love the dress 
dress I'm wearing today. It's from Old Navy and it's just this greenish color which I actually do love which is surprising some people because I used to like hate this color but I've been loving it recently. I think I saw like on a show somebody was wearing this color and I was like oh my god that was good and it looks good with my skin tone like with a tan and everything. I just think it's very comfortable. It's a very loose fitting dress is what, which is what I love and I just think it's super cute. I've only had it for a couple weeks but I love it. I'm obsessed with it and I just love how comfortable it is. And another one of my favorites is my necklace that I'm wearing today. It's a double infinity and ever since Revenge the TV show was on I've been obsessed with double infinities and it ended a couple years ago but I still love it and I love double infinities. I just think they're so like unique and I just love them. Infinities are my favorite so of course double infinities are my favorite. And I just think it's a nice necklace and I got it from Lord and Taylor. It's a nice necklace and I just really really like it. Now I'm going to go into more random favorites before I get into TV. I'm just going to talk about this magazine and this is the TV Guide magazine with Jesse Spencer and Taylor Kinney on it and yeah I'm that person to mention a magazine. I don't know if people do that but hey maybe I'm starting a trend and yes I really love this magazine. I It was a manhunt. It was a Hunger Games to find this. I finally found it at Walmart. It was on a lower shelf and I was like of course they would put it there and everything but I really love this magazine because it has Severide and Casey on it aka Jesse and Taylor but to me they're Sebacy and I feel like weird calling them that. It sounds way better when I tweet that. I really love like you know they're just they're a total bromance and everything. I, have you, did you see the cover of TV Guide? They're like a full-on bromance. Of course I had to get this. It's the Chicago Fire Edition and everybody that knows me well knows I'm obsessed with one Chicago shows especially Chicago Fire because like Dossie and like I love Jesse and like just everyone and I just love this magazine and I just mainly love like the Chicago Fire article. Like that's all that matters right? And like their spread is great. Like look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And they have like more pictures from the shoot online but I really love like this magazine. I did. I just love mainly I just love Jesse and Taylor's article. Like I love the whole thing on the West Chicago shows. And yeah I love this magazine mainly because you know the Chicago Fire bromance and like Jesse and Taylor and Severed and Casey are total bromance. I love this so much and yes I'm a fangirl for mentioning it but I really don't care. Okay so now I have two shows that I've been loving. Of course I'm always loving the Chicago shows like you know that but I've been loving two shows that are actually coincidentally both on Netflix. So the first one I feel like the whole world is obsessed with and that is 13 Reasons Why. Honestly I think that's such a groundbreaking show that might not be the right words but it's just such a like pure great show. It really get, sends out a good message and I think it really does good. Some people think the show went too far but I totally disagree and I honestly could talk about this like for a little literally five hours why I love this show. Basically if you haven't heard of 13 Reasons Why it is a book by Jay Asher and I read this in high school. I was actually a sophomore in high school when I read it and I've been out of high school for almost I think three years which is crazy to me and oh my god like I when I read the book I was like this is a great book like it has such a great message and it really just it just gives you a real message about how you should treat people and like it really shows you that how like your words hurt things you do can hurt people and like you know people are people and you need to just treat everybody like with that respect. And yeah so basically what 13 Reasons Why is about. It's about a girl named Hannah who is in high school and she commits suicide. Before she commits suicide she records 13 tapes like the actual tapes. I don't know if I don't know if you're old enough or you know what those were but the little cassette tapes she records off of those and she sends out 13 tapes on the 13 reasons why she killed herself. So that includes the people that she like felt attacked her decision and everything. 13 people that basically like hurt her life I guess if you could say. And it's a very like interesting intriguing but also like it has a great message to send out there. It's a very like I don't know like hard hitting show and it's very like it's out there and it's very intense. So I definitely think it's more for high school age 15 and up. I don't think you should be watching this if you're in middle school just because I feel like it's very intense. Intense. There are a lot of serious issues that are really shown in this very like intensely and it's very intense. So I feel like if you're older it, it, you'll get it more but also you'll be able to handle it more. And I don't like a lot of people do think this is a trigger show for people which I can totally see that yes I'm not gonna say that it's not but I feel like it's such an important show to 
watch like because it just shows like just high school and I think it's very true to high school. I love how they didn't shy away from anything with this series. The cast is amazing for it especially like I love like the girl that plays Hannah. Oh my god. Like she was so good in it and I didn't watch all 13 episodes in one sitting. I could not do that. I watched it in like four days just because if I watched it all in one sitting that would be a lot and I would lose a lot of daylight but I really loved the show like I don't know there's not words to really put to it why I really liked it and I related to Hannah in ways that I didn't realize and stuff like that like I feel like my high school experience was similar to hers and everything like that like I was like that person that didn't have many friends in high school and I just I don't know like my high school experience was not as good as like my college experience has been and like I have way more friends out of high school than I did in high school. I pretty much only keep in contact with my best friend who I went to high school with and I just think it's a great show. I love how real it is. I liked how real they kept the suicide scene and the rape scene and everything like that. I just think it's very 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 important because it really just shows a true story and I think it's great and not like great to like yay like I think it's like good to show these things because it really can connect to somebody. Somebody can relate to that and then they're like it It could push somebody to get help. I definitely think if you think it's gonna be a trigger with you watch of your parents or friends or something and it's definitely a show that you could talk about and definitely after seeing it I was like wow and everything and it really I feel like it shows people like anybody like you need to stop being an asshole you need to be nice to people. It shows you that your words can impact like people. Everyone has said something that they like regret they're like I shouldn't have said that like no I shouldn't have. And I just think it's like it shows bullying and its truest element and it show, just shows everything like in the true way and I just think it's a great show. It's on Netflix so if you haven't seen it you definitely should and of course I do think the book is better because the book is pretty much always better but I do love the show and I do think it showed the book justice as well and it was pretty true to the book and I honestly could do a whole video on this show like I could literally do a whole video of why I liked it the lessons everything and if you want me to do that let me know down below but I don't know I just really connected with it I really thought it was an amazing series an amazing show it just it'll sh like change the way you think change your mind about things it'll just make you realize things and just and you might learn a few things which I love and I might have a 13 reasons why I get the look coming soon it's gonna be more out of the box so I'm excited for that and the other show I've been loving is The Night Shift which kind of reminds me a mix of Chicago Fire and Chicago Med but it's not a Dick Wolf series at all. It's an NBC series but it's not Dick Wolf and I love that show. It is so amazing. So basically what it is it's about the night shift in the, in the ER in San Antonio, Texas. It's a really great show. I've been recommending it to everybody. I watched it last summer for the first time and then once I saw one episode it was like I had to go back. And then recently I watched seasons one and two literally like in a couple days because I love that show so much. I just think it's a great show and I just think it's amazing and what I love about it is it's not just in the ER like the doctors will go out to the field and help patients and bring them to the hospital and stuff like that. That's kind of why I get like the fire and med aspect of it because it's more like in the field stuff too like it's not just in the ER and it's cool because it's a night shift show. And I know like Chicago Med they they don't show the night shift they, it's pretty much always the day shift. Like I think they did a couple episodes that are night shift. I just really love the show because it is the night shift and it just shows like the night shift and seeing like oh what that might be like. It's such a great show. It's also kind of funny too. It's not like completely dramatic like some shows are and I love all the characters but I especially love Jordan and TC like who doesn't and I want them to get back together so so bad. Like can that happen please in season four let that happen. And season four is premiering I think in June sometime and I'm excited for that and I don't like Annie and I don't like Jessica. She is the worst character. She's worse than Annie in my opinion and she's pretty much done so but I feel like she's gonna make a comeback because that always happens. The characters you hate always come back. They always make a comeback and you're like why do this to me? 
So yeah, I love The Night Shift. It's a great show. You definitely should go check out 13 Reasons Why and The Night Shift on Netflix because they're really good. I've been loving a bunch of different songs, but I don't want this video to be long, so I'll probably just shout them out. So I've been loving It Ain't Me by Kiko and Selena Gomez, and I've also been loving A Play It Again by Brian. I've also been loving Powerful by Major Lazer, Allie Golding, and Towers Riley, and this is a powerful remix. And I've also been loving The, the Fighter by Keith Urban and Carrie Underwood. I just love like the vocals and all in that. Tin Man by Miranda Lambert's great too. I also love Hurricane by Luke Combs. Let It Go by Rachel Telbalt. Kill of Kindness Acoustic that was in 13 Reasons by Why by Selena Gomez and also Only You by Selena Gomez which is also in 13 Reasons Why. And then I also love Break Up Every Night by The Chainsmokers and I Am by James Arthur. I love all these songs. They're pretty much all upbeat. Some of them are slower but they all have like great messages behind them and they're just just great songs overall. I would play them but since there's so many I don't want to do that because then this video will be like 50 minutes long but like, why kitty why? So yeah those are all my favorites for April. Like I said I haven't been loving a ton of things. It's kind of just been scattered all over. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorites for April. I'd love to hear about them. Any makeup, TV of course because you know I'm addicted. Any like books, any like you know random favorites, anything. Just let me know that down below. Also let me know any videos you'd like to see next like any makeup lifestyle random videos just let me know that down below and please subscribe if you haven't already because i post videos every single week usually mondays and fridays and sometimes wednesdays and also hit the notification bell down below to be notified if you want to know when my videos go up just hit that bell down below and thank you so much for watching happy may and i will see you in my next video bye Stand by.